right now. You say to yourself you'd be breaking every vow. It's 9.05 a.m. The sun is shining and we got to get in there. So let's get thrifting, see what we can find for profit. I am looking for a dresser for Redrick. He wants one in his closet. It needs to be not super deep. We'll see if we can find something like that today. That might be a trip with the truck. I must say, after last week's thrifting, I feel like spring is in the air finally and the donations are flowing. I, my, my mood today is almost jubilant. <laughs> let's get to thrifting. That's off. Not super crowded here today, so we'll see what we find. Always going to the dish aisle first. I can't help it. Like, I am definitely a creature of habit. So if you watch our videos often, you'll see that I kind of thrift the same. <laughs> and when I try to do it differently, it's like it throws me off and I'm not as efficient at my searching. I like this. I don't know who the maker is, but that's really cute. I'm gonna see if I can find more. Here's another one. I wonder if these are the like saucers. Oh, there are. There's a bunch of saucers, but I only have two mugs, so I'll grab two of these. They are busy today. There's already a lot of people in the yard. We're a little late. Is this frame wood? That frame is wood. They have a hard time passing on a wood frame. How much is it? Five bucks. Eight dollars for this. I wish it was green. I'm not in a fall mood right now. Look at that frame. They put that up on top. That's actually got good art in it already. Oh, this is just plastic. The frame is plastic. The art is a print and they want $20 for it and it's cracked here and here. So usually we find these in their pressed tin. This one's ceramic with a lid for $3. I don't know if this is for dog treats or whatever, but it's Ray Dunn. It says reward. And I actually think that's really cute for $3. Absolutely always looking for stoneware bar pans. This fits in a toaster oven. We used to have one and loved it when we had a smaller toaster oven. And I, th I don't think, I think the ones that we bought before sold. So I'm going to grab this for $1.50. I'll look it up and see if we did sell it. I think this is Pampered Chef too. Let me double check. It's got, looks like they're glazed stoneware bacon. Yep, it's their 3.1 quart baker. I don't think it has a price, but I'm gonna grab it. This looks like it's just stainless steel, but I love that it has strawberries on it. This is cute. Oh man, we're missing a knob. Can I just replace that knob, you think? How much? $2? How much do I feel like working on it? Oh my goodness, a giant easel. It's on wheels. Oh, $20 though. The last ones I got were 10 each. But look how big that is. That's taller than me. It's like seven feet tall. I think this is for straws or uh, spaghetti noodles. So this looks like a handmade mug. It's a dollar. Look, it's got a mermaid tail. It's got oceans. It's kind of funky. I'm going to grab it. Just found this. It looks like it's got a bunch of grease on it, but look how cute that is for $3. The bottom is stamped O to Jerry Japan. So I'll look that up when I get home. So I don't normally buy puzzles, but this one I noticed has the original seal still intact. So I think it's worth a shot for $1.50. And then I also found this sweet little angel on the cart. New cart just came out and it's only a dollar. All right, so I'm gonna get this because A, it's really unique. B, I'm gonna look for a hurricane lamp for it and see it's only two bucks and I think it's pewter or aluminum, one of the two. So I know Jamie and I had to talk about no more clocks, but you have to look. You have to look, right? <laughs> These are all plastic. They're not, they're not saying anything to me really. Although there's a pressed tin one back behind. Okay, so eight bucks, I'm gonna leave it here. We've got a bunch of clocks about that size. Well, that's kind of fun for 70 bucks. I want to say entertainment center, but it looks more like a china cabinet without a door on the front. This is all solid wood with the shelves and that's cast. I think the color on this needs to be changed. But if you just painted that black, it looked like cast iron. Can't skip on the quilts and the afghans and the textiles. It's kind of fun, a little tie on it. 
this won't work for Redrick, but I really like the curve and it has all the handles. Like $30 that they got. Cause this is like this one's 30. This is oh, this had enough. a vanity mirror on the back at one point. That would have been cool. This is short enough that he could still hang stuff up. Do you like the construction on it though? How do those drawers slide? Mm, they don't have sliders, but oh, that, one's oh, that bottom one's broken. Let's look at another store. Yeah, I feel like 30 is a good gap. Yeah, maybe if that was like 15 or 20 with the broken drawer. Looking for a globe for my starfish. I think if I was gonna find it, I might have a chance here. Doesn't look like there's anything though. Not today. I am gonna pick this up. This is not for candlesticks. This is Pampered Chef. It's for like displaying your cupcakes or cookies or something. So we might have half a cart between the two of us, but not to worry, we're going to two other stores at least. Will and another uh, DI, but maybe we'll have to hit a four store today. I don't know. Four stores. So that's what $27 will get you at this thrift store. I, I, I'm i gonna be up later that I didn't get that big easel, but we already have two really big easels. One is currently upstairs because we don't have room for it downstairs on the display floor at the shop. It's 10 01. We're pulling into Goodwill. They just opened, so the timing is right. We're gonna go in and see what we can find. Hopefully it's lots, because the last store, not so much. Oh, he's actually getting a cart today. That's optimistic. I gotta go check the top racks. You got, you got toilet paper all on your face from blowing your nose. Hay fever season. <laughs> I'm just gonna go with a little cart. Usually it's big enough for here. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, last week we found the sugar dishes. No salt and pepper shaker. I'm definitely gonna grab these. It's four bucks for the set, but I think they'll sell well. Here's a little French country box, four dollars. I don't know if it has a maker's mark, but it's pretty, so I'm gonna get it. I'm always surprised when the same clocks are still here because I didn't buy them because I thought they were overpriced and everyone else must think so. So little clocks are still on the table because we sell them a lot. We got a little brass basket. $1.99, I like it. These are kind of cool, blown glass. I imagine that they went down in something to hold a candle. I don't know what I would use them for, but I like them. All right, I walked around the aisle and I was like, well, part of me kind of wants to get them and maybe I could turn something that I could drill out and that would fit down in there. <sighs> Tempting. Two enamel bowls for $1.99, I like the color. I don't know, they're necessarily old, but they're cute. I would normally pick up this, but I feel like $5.99 is a lot, especially since it doesn't have a base, so I'm gonna pass on that. Cute little stoneware pot, but $4, that's really little. I'm gonna pass, if that was $1.99, I would get it. All right, checked out the bag wall. I don't know if this is vintage clothing or just like doll clothes, but it's only $2.99, so I'm gonna grab it and we'll take it home and pick it. So I'm over here looking at the bag wall, and then look at this. It's got floral, it's got a bird, it's original, vintage frame. That is good. Let's check the price. $19.99. I think that is coming home with me. So I thought this bunny might be felted. It's very festive. However, I think the festiveness will come off and possibly repaint it. It's not felted, it's ceramic something or other. $3.99. It's a great bunny though. Perfect for a garden, I think. I like it, but it's so tiny. So lately the yellow Afghans have been selling, but I don't know with the black and white, if this one would do as well. It's $2.99. It's not super small. I'm gonna get it. Who's buying the big frames now? Oh, that doesn't need any work. Oh, it's got a hole in it though. Oh shoot. Yeah, but look, it's original. I do like that. That's awesome. Hey, this is this is like a sham, or uh, what do you call it? Uh, it takes an insert, a duvet. There we go. I'm not a fan of this. I knew you wouldn't be. It's fine. You can put it back. I'm not love. I'm not in love with it either. Right. I don't know where you got it. Hold on. Hold this up for me though, like that way. Yeah, it's just like a. It's like a quilted duvet. I don't know if it's. I think it's mass produced. No, it's cute. It's worth it. It's seven or eight dollars. Yeah. Okay. If this was $2, I would get it, but it's six. Reason being, you can make like a wood round or get a fun plate, like one of those glass plates down below and make yourself a little cake stand. But that's a little high price for just the dome for me. 
fun little brass basket with cast handle. I'm guessing Jamie skipped on it because of the grapes, but I'm gonna get it, I like it. $2.99, that's workable. All right, look at this quilted pillow. It's $5.99, that's definitely coming home with me. I'm probably gonna wash it. I wash everything, like even if you're not supposed to, because I'm not sending anything on its merry little way if it hasn't been washed. Oh, my cottage loving heart. Look at this. Is that not the cutest thing ever? $2.99. Now, granted, we did get an awesome duvet cover and this painting, but about a half a cart's worth if you shuffle it around. But this is worth like a couple hundred dollars easy. Yeah, Maybe but. a little more with shipping, so. But we spent $27 at the DI, and we've heard you guys lament about Goodwill pricing as well. We were $65 for essentially half a cart versus $27. All right, we've decided that this is the last thrift store for today. For today. Um, because we've been thrifting a ton and the weather is getting warmer. So I'm holding out this week just in case we find a yard sale or an estate sale we want to go to because we really need to make sure we're not buying faster than we can sell. And so we just make sure that we're buying just the best items. So we're being a little bit more particular. We're going in the out because those ones are closed. Oh, really? Well, everybody must be shopping because they're all on this side. All right, Zeb's still grabbing his cart, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started looking in the store and see what I can find. So this store is always hit and miss. By this time in the day, it's been open for an hour and a half usually. It has been picked over, and so sometimes we find good things that people just aren't buying the same things as us. And sometimes I see things in people's carts. I'm like, oh, if I'd have been half hour earlier, because this, this store is always the last on the stop. <laughs> how long, how long is this gonna last? I kind of like this little box. It would need painted, but I like the shape on it, the brass pull, and then it's got brass hinges on the inside too. It's $3, I think I'm gonna get it. This is where I found a couple cool lamps last time around, but not today. I mean, that one actually is pretty neat. $8. Do not love the shade. See what's on the end caps here. They actually do a pretty good job of staging their end caps. We have this picture, but everybody wanted to buy it last time, so this time this one's gonna be for sale. $3. Looks like there's a flow blue piece of china. Staffordshire, England. That's a good one. All right. Plastic, plastic, metal. Oh, that's got me going now. I thought it was plastic. It's $12. Probably needs a repaint. I like Roman numerals on the face better, but it's metal and it's pretty good. I, I feel like as is, it would work well in situation like more like a uh, shop or garage. I like this one too. I thought it might be galvanized, but it's plastic. Over here at the cart, they just rolled out. Let's see if this is anything. Oh, it's got like a, is that marble or granite? Oh, it's heavy. Sandstone. So I'm probably gonna repaint this, but still like it quite a bit. A dollar for all these gold vintage ornaments. It's a good deal. All right, I found this. It's Hager. It's got a chip here, but with a new paint job, that could be pretty cute. Vintage Hi-Ho Cherio for $3. I'm gonna see if all the pieces are in here. Looks like they are. That's so cute. This particular West Jordan thrift store always has the best vintage games. I think most of the vintage games that we've found have come from here. There's another one. Parker Brothers Game Awards Probe. Looks to be pretty complete. I feel like we have to buy this vintage game, Lay an Egg. It's got a rooster that lays eggs. I'm gonna check and see if the parts are here. Always check the aisles that aren't necessarily what you want. Like this is just office supplies, but here's a Pampered Chef um, a pan that I didn't expect to find here for $3 pretty French lamp that I just found for six dollars. I actually don't even hate the look of it. I'll probably leave it as is. Definitely vintage, um, but a little bit more modern because the plug is not like super old. 
but it's cool. All right, so we were $67 here for a bag. I think Jamie's games were a lot. They were $3 each. Oh, so I don't know how we got up to $67. What do you got in there? I don't know, where's your receipt? My clock was five, because it was dented. It was originally 12. Well, what else was $5? I don't know. Was it this? So this was 10. Uh, small as is, we had seven that were three dollars, so that's twenty-one. As small as for dollar fifty. I mean, it adds up. A six dollars electric. Oh no, only forty-one dollars, not sixty-seven. Whoops. Oh, I think she told us sixty-seven. Yeah, she did. I thought I was like, man, I don't remember spending that. Much. <laughs> forty-one fifty, that's better. Forty-one fifty is better, because I got this instead of twelve dollars. It's got a dent here and a dent up here. I'm gonna have to take out, so they gave me that for five. All right, we're gonna take all this home. We will spread it out so you can see it. What you're not gonna see today is that we're gonna be headed to the Goodwill bins for Thursday's video because it's not even 11 o'clock yet. And so we've decided to double our efforts today and get that filming done so we have a longer time for a challenge on Thursday's video. So make sure you're subscribing because you're not gonna wanna miss that. We're gonna take you home, give you a slow pan. So not our usual overflowing table of goodies. We're hoping we can hit some yard sales and possibly an estate sale or two this weekend. It's warming up, which means um, yard sales, uh, garage sales, estate sales, all happening. So we'll check that out. If we get anything from those places, we'll film them for next week. If you want to shop along, this will all be up for Saturday's thrift haul at 8.30 Mountain Time. We'll also drop the link so you can see everything that we currently have available. All the items go for sale on jamierayvintage.com. And if you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY and thrifting. We'll see you on the next episode. We could have been stardust, same world but without us. Something made us, made us find each other out there. Made us realize we're more than just stardust. Ignore this fact if you must. To do what your dreams are telling you. They're looking for someone like you Stardust, Stardust Ooh, yeah. I'm the lazy one, so I guess I should have known You said yourself you want to do this alone What if your dreams are making it hard to think